Okay, my name is Kylie, and I just researched this because I was curious myself um, about what happened to Sevnia Switch Down Under. Um, I used to watch it. I, I didn't really watch any of the other seasons. I just saw this on FYI, and I was like, might as well watch it. And then I just um, searched it and watched it via my phone. Um, watch it most previous season because other ones weren't working that well, but that's okay. Um, and I really liked it. It's kind of interesting. Um, and then they just took off the air last month, right? Uh, last episode aired um, November 16th and now it's um, over a month and a half later. And no word from them. So I looked online and I couldn't really find any reason why they cut it off. So I did a bunch of extensive research, and I finally found why I think they took it off. And I figured, you know, I couldn't be the only person curious of why they took it off, so I might as well share it to you guys on YouTube. So I think the reason why they took it off, and yes, my back, my research has um, like backings and foundation, and I'll put all the links and everything in the description so you guys can see it for yourself. But last season in Australia, they had people started a petition. Okay, so I got the petition right here. So you say stop seven year switch from Aang on channel seven and save our relationships from this person. All right, and that's change.org, and I'll post a link if you guys are interested in the description below. Um, but I'm just going to read this and I'll explain my take on everything. It says, seven, Channel 7, Seven Year Switch is a TV series that ultimately encourages unfaithfulness and lust to help fix a damaged or broken relationship. This is, this so-called experiment isn't going to do anything positive to all young people or our relationships. It is setting people up for failure. How can infidelity save or repair our relationship? Our relationship spelled wrong, BT dubs. One second. You see that? Our relationship. First off, it's our. So, if you're going to start a position, learn how to use grammar. Thank you. And you can see marriage and relationships. I'm trying to read it from there so you guys can see it. Are worth fighting for and fighting in the right ways. Stand with me united together to stop more damage and degrading attacks against marriage and relationships. Help me take a positive stand for marriage and relationships. If we don't do it, no one will. Oh, no. Pretty much all it says. And then this petition will be delivered to Channel 7 Australia. And it has 268 supporters. Um, nine months ago, it had 250, so it didn't gain much from that. So obviously, this isn't exactly what stopped it, but people have been posting on pretty recently. But from what I understand, this didn't help the cause for 70 Switch Down Under. Um, so, 70 Switch Down Under's ratings and angs were just going really low. Um, they weren't getting as many views as they used to in the previous seasons. Um, so, then this previous season um, that recently just aired, they decided to put it um, in America and on FYI and see if you know that would help the ratings and it actually really didn't um, get about the same you know low ratings and they're just like it's not worth being on air so with this petition and with the ratings they just took it completely off the air which sucks for people that actually watched it because I don't believe that this is the case I don't believe that you know it, it encourages unfaithfulness and lust to fix a damaged or broken relationship because that's not true. It's trying to help a relationship. And if you don't see eye to eye, just don't watch the show. <laughs> None of your business. You know what I mean? Um, but it doesn't. It just like, it's encouraging people that, you know, maybe you need to see it from a different perspective. Because if you're not supposed to be in that relationship, you need to get out of it. Because if you're in a toxic relationship for seven years, you get bigger issues. Um, and it, it helps you see, you know, you're out of your spouse for how long we, the experience is. Um, Maybe you'll miss you and actually care for them. Just like, you know, half the people haven't had like sex in 
seven months. Um, you know, it encourages them to find, to hold on to what they have with this spouse instead of clinging on something new because something new really isn't as as special as you may think. That's what it proves because a lot of people think, you know, I can find something better. I'm going to get out of this relationship and find something better. And it proves that there's there's probably not something better. If you were with somebody for seven years, then, I mean, of course, there's extenuating circumstances, but then maybe this, that person is the one for you. That's my take on it. Um, which made me sad because I wanted to figure out what happened with them. I saw it, like, connecting with the people and I was trying to figure out, you know, what's going to happen. Which, so I never get to figure out that, and it kind of bums me out that part. But they are starting in a Matkin season, um, January 3rd, so that's not far away. So if you do like the show, watch that before they take that one off the air. But it's going to have all new characters, or people, they're not characters because it's reality. But um, So it sucks that we don't get to figure out what happened with the Down Under series. But um, catch a new season on FYI. And if you have any questions, just comment. Um, and if you found this informative, go ahead and like it. Thank you.